So let's analyze some congruent triangles. So in this lesson, we're going to look at criteria for congruent triangles, congruency statements, and CPCTC. What exactly is that CPCTC? So let's get into the lesson. All right, so what is a congruent statement or a congruency statement? Well, when all triangles are congruent, we can write a congruency statement, and that is a statement where all um, corresponding sides and angles match. And so if we look here, we have the congruency statement triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So now if we look at angle A, that will be congruent according to our congruency statement, congruent to angle D. And if we look at angle D, it does in fact have those two um, congruence marks. Looking at the congruency statement, we have angle B and E should be uh, congruent. So if we look here, B and angle E are congruent. They both have that one arc. And then looking at C or angle C and angle F, they also have those three congruence marks. So with your congruency statement, you should be able to tell which angles are congruent without even um, looking at the triangles. And it also goes along with the sides as well. So right here, side AB, it has that one congruence mark along with side DE, it also has this one congruence mark right here. If we look at side A, I'm sorry, side BC, so side BC and DF, so BC has the three congruence marks here, and EF has the three congruence marks. And then if we look at AC and DF, they both have those two congruency marks. So again, corresponding angles and sides match up in the congruency statement. All right, so let's look at the criteria for congruent triangles. They must have the same shape and size and all corresponding angles and sides must be congruent. So if we look here at this congruent state, congruency statement, it says triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Just to analyze it a little bit, side AB should be congruent to side DF. So let's look down here. Side AB has that one congruence mark and side uh, DE has that same congruence mark. So those are congruent and Let's say uh, angle C should be congruent to angle F. Angle C has the three congruence marks and angle F has the three congruence marks. So again, our uh, congruency statement matches those uh, triangles. So the criteria is that all corresponding angles and sides must be congruent. So let's take a look at CPCTC. What exactly is that? That stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, CPCTC. If we know that two triangles are congruent, then we know that each pair of the corresponding parts are also congruent. And when we're looking at proofs, you can use CPCTC when asked to prove certain parts, the angles and the sides are congruent, but of course, we must prove that the triangles are congruent first using theorems such as angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, 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 and angle, angle, side. If you're not familiar with these theorems, please see my video, Triangle Congruence Theorems. All right, so as you see here, we just have a congruency statement with no image. So from our congruency statement, we can tell what angles are congruent and what sides are congruent. So looking here, J and P are first, so we can say that angle J is congruent to angle P. K and Q are in the same position, so we could say angle K is congruent to angle Q. And last, we have L and R, so we could say that angle L is congruent to angle R. 
So those are our three pair of congruent angles. Now let's take a look at the sides here. So JK, same position as PQ, first two letters. So we could say that side JK is congruent to side PQ. KL, same position, last two letters as QR. So we could say that KL is congruent to QR. And then the first and third letter, so JL, J and L, and P and R are in the same position. They both are first and third. So we can say that JL, side JA, is congruent to side PR. So we've matched our uh, congruent corresponding angles along with our congruent corresponding sides. Okay, so we have an example here of uh, two congruent triangles and we have the congruent statement there. And why don't you fill in a blank to match up uh, the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles and see if you can also draw in the um, congruence marks on the triangle. So go ahead and pause the video to try this problem on your own. All right, so hopefully you got the answers correct. So go ahead and check your answers with those corresponding uh, sides and angles. And so now we're going to do one more problem. All right, so let's try this last problem here. We want to find uh, the measures of each angle and the lengths of each side. And so what I like to do, I like to just fill in uh, each of the angles on the actual triangle first, as well as the sides. So we see here, we have this 67 degree angle, that is angle S, that is uh, congruent to angle B, and so angle B would also be 67 degrees. If we look at angle N, angle N is 82 degrees, so angle N is congruent to angle W, they're both last um, in the congruency statement there, and so angle W would be 82 degrees. All right, and then to find angles T and F, we know that the sum of the measures of the angles in a triangle are 180 because of the triangle angle sum theorem. So to find that third angle, we could take 180 because all three angles have to add up to 180 according to the triangle angle sum theorem. Now we could subtract 67 and 82 from 180 that leaves us with 31. And so angles T and F would be congruent. They both would be 31 degrees. All right. So now looking at this 17 centimeter right here, that is side TS. So side TS, looking at our congruent statement up here, is congruent to side uh, BF. So side BF would also be 17. All right, and then looking at nine centimeters, that is side WS. So that is the first and third letters in that first statement. And so BN would be the congruent uh, side. So that would be nine centimeters here. And then over here, WT is congruent to FN. So WT would be 14. Uh, centimeters. All right, so we've matched up our congruent sides and angles, so we can just simply fill in our blanks here. So BN is 9 centimeters, TW is 14 centimeters, BF is 17 centimeters. All right, the measure of angle W is 82 degrees. The measure of angle B is 67 degrees, and the measure of angle F is 31 degrees. So we have filled in um, the measures of the angles and the given sides using what we know about congruency statements. All right, so that is our lesson. Thank you for learning with me. 
uh, some related videos are the triangle congruence theorems video and the HL theorem. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that as well. Again, thank you for learning with me.